Hi, my name is Alex Folger. Um, in June, my husband and I had a miscarriage. Uh, after two healthy babies, it was not something I was prepared for. Uh, basically, we both went on autopilot and a couple months it was a blur. Uh, started to lose hope that we would have more kids. Uh, I was praying for more, wanted more, felt like I needed more, wasn't complete. But I read a post on Instagram early October that said, instead of praying for what you need, you pray for the healing that he will provide for you. So I changed my prayers. I started thanking him for blessing me with more children, uh, filling my womb again. And um, my whole mindset changed and I just was more positive. And uh, late October, Halloween, I got a positive pregnancy test and we now know it's a boy. His name's Anders Uriah. He is my beautiful answer to faith-filled prayers. The other day at work, there was a situation that I was really nervous about. And so I went to my Bible, to Joshua 1.9, and that says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So I prayed over that verse, and I went into my meeting, had a conversation with my team, and as it turns out, the thing that I was worried about was already covered. The team was moving on and everything was good. After the meeting, I went back to my Bible and that very first phrase, have I not commanded you? Before the meeting, have I not commanded you? Felt like God was saying, don't worry, I got this. After the meeting, when I read, have I not commanded you? It felt like God was saying to me, what did I just say? Anyways, I thanked God for covering me there, had a good cry, and back to work. Thanks, God. Hi, church. My name's Cassie Bowman. Making this video makes me very nervous. Bear with me. Um, in 2018, I was diagnosed with stage four adrenal cancer. I had a one-year-old and a two-and-a-half-year-old at home, and I underwent four months of chemo treatment. I had a major abdominal surgery to remove the softball sized mass from my abdomen. And then I had another month of radiation treatment to make sure that they got the margins. Um, during that year and beyond, I just wanted more time with my family. That was my only prayer. And I knew God was with me. I saw him through the whole thing. I just kept praying and praying that he would give me more time. And it actually took a study at church about Elijah and his time that he spent near the river and watching that river dry up and God still providing and I realized that that whole time that God was giving me more time and that he was answering my prayer in maybe not a way that I wanted or expected but he he's faithful and he's good thanks church mm -hmm.